Hey, greetings everyone. It's Chris here. It is time for another prepper challenge. All right, so this is where we, uh, I pull food out of my food storage and preparation uh, supplies. Uh, it's been, it's been a while since they've been put down there. And now that we're in uh, the shelter in place mode, uh, you know, not only have I been thinking about, do I have enough supplies? And I think that was just a, you know, an initial panic reaction, but it got me thinking I should probably test them. Uh, some of it's been down there for more than 10 years. So we've gone through several challenges already. Today we're going to, we're going to test out Hormel corned beef, which honestly, this might, this might be my least favorite of the prepper challenges. Uh, and I have quite a large supply of Hormel corned beef, and that's probably a discussion for a whole nother video as to why I, why I have certain preps. But, uh, but today we're going to specifically look at this one. So we're going to run it through the standard set of tests. We're going to observe the container, make sure that it's not bloated or doesn't appear to be spoiled or bad in any way. Going to open it up. We're going to give it the, the sight test, the, the smell test, and then finally we'll, we'll, we'll test it for some texture and some of its consistency. And then the ultimate taste test will tell me whether or not it's something that uh, I can rely on. Now, I'll be honest. I'm not. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the tasting of this. I, I don't. <laughs> I eat, I don't eat a whole lot of meat these days anyway. Um, but you know, this is pure meat and it's canned meat. Uh, I can't, it's not what I'd call the highest quality meat. But we know that when we're prepping for emergencies, you know, uh, quality and nutrition kind of falls by the wayside a little bit. And really, we're looking for calories and the ability for the food to to last a long time. So we're gonna. So. So, so taste and preference definitely takes a back seat today, but, uh, but that's okay. So we're going to run it through the, the normal paces, uh, and let's see what this looks like. Well, this is what the can looks like. This is, as we can see, Hormel corned beef, premium quality, hard to argue with that, product of Brazil as is quite a lot of canned meat, as it turns out, if you start to research this. Uh, let's take a little bit of a look. It uh, looks like it's 12 ounces, kind of hard to read. Um, let's look at the nutritional facts. All right, so there are two servings in here. Each serving is 120 calories. 60 of those are fat calories, so... Um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get your intake of fat. There are zero sugars, and this is a no carb diet. So hey, I think if you're on a no carb diet, this may be just what you had in mind. There's no vitamin C, a little bit of vitamin A, a little ten percent of your iron. Let's see what we got for sodium. Oh yeah, well a single serving is gonna give you twenty percent of your daily sodium, and there's two servings in here. So if you eat a whole can. You're getting half of your sodium intake right there. Uh, if we look at what's in this, which uh, I don't know that you want to do, but it looks like it's got cooked beef, it has beef, it's got salt, sugar, sodium nitrite. It is gluten free, and that's what it's got. Hey, so that's not too terribly bad. Let's see what the instructions on the back say. All kinds of ways that you can serve it. You can make creamy Hormel corned beef with toast, corned beef potato topper. Looks delicious. All right, and it does, uh, let's see what we've got for best use by dates on here. If I can find that. Okay, so it looks like this was best by October of 2011. So that's not, oh, that's not too old. It's coming up on nine years old uh, this, this October. So not too old. And uh, and I probably bought it a couple of years before that even. So it is. This is probably o older than 10 years, which is fine. This is this in particular. And there's a whole other video associated with this, but it's supposed to last indefinitely, right? So whether or not you believe that, we'll find out. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's open this up. All right. So this can does have a. Uh, just its own pop top. Uh, doesn't look like the can's bulging in any way. Um, yeah, it looks it looks like the integrity of the can has held up fine. It has been sitting in a uh, 
kind of a pretty cool dry dark uh, storage area in my crawl space so it's I think it's just fine okay I'll go ahead and pop it see if we get any whoosh of air or anything like that oh geez it's, uh, I think this is going to be a two-handed job so bear with me well it was a two-handed job and uh, and the lid was a little bit sharp the as it turns out the tab had this metal spur so I cut myself a little bit I'll be fine uh, but just always be careful when you're opening these cans you it's a uh, surprising how sharp they are and it's surprising how you can get tagged even when you least expect it now it did take two hands to open the can so but this is what you get right man it's uh it's meat in a can so i don't know how many different ways you can expect meat in a can to look this looks like meat in a can i think what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna have to cook this somehow so there's just uh yeah, I think I might fry up a slice of it uh, for the taste test portion of this, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. I'm not anxious to scoop out a hunk of it. There is no smell coming out of this, uh, so it smells just fine. It smells like canned beef, which either you have a taste for or you don't. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's, let's get some of this out of the can, and we'll uh, see what that looks like, and then we'll try a little frying of the corned beef. All right, this is, uh, this is what it looks like when we take it out of the can. It's, uh, I was able to coax it out with a knife, so I you know, had to slide the knife around the sides of the can. My dog is sitting right out of the frame thinking this has to be dog food because you know it smells so delicious but uh this is it you can see there's uh, chunks of fat it is high in fat uh, but this is what a can can of meat looks like when you take it out of the can so i am gonna uh, cut a couple slices i'm gonna cut one slice up that's all i'll need to taste it I'm going to fry it up a little bit, you know, in an emergency situation, which is what this is for. You may not have that luxury of heat uh, with a pan, but I do have that luxury. So I'm going to take advantage of that luxury and we're going to fry this baby. All right, here we got it frying. It's definitely more like ground beef than a steak that you're going to have to cut through, it, right? So as, as you cut into it, it kind of falls apart a little bit, but you can turn it into a patty. You could crumble it up. You could turn it into all kinds of things. It doesn't want to cook as a patty. Well, it looks like there's two basic ways you're going to eat this. Well, at a very basic level, right? There's a cold and then there's a cooked. So on the left, you can see I've got, that's a slab of the cold. On the right, you can see I've got some cooked. And with the cooked, you got all kinds of options, I guess. You could mix it up with just about anything. It crumbles up and will, uh, yeah, blend well into any kind of soup or rice or pasta dish or anything with vegetables, pot, you know, you name it. It's, it's gonna be a great filler. Uh, it's gonna give you a lot of, a lot of a lot of fat, some protein, and some salt, right? So, and then uh, on the on the 
the cold side, if, if you're just out of options and all you have is a can of this, and eh, chances are you're going to eat it just like it's sitting right there. So I'm going to try it both ways. I'll uh, give a review. We'll see how this is. So we've come down to the final test. We've opened the can. The can looked fine. This is probably some of the oldest of my food stores that I have. It's the one I'm least favorite, or least excited to try. Um, but I have a, but I have to, right? I don't have a choice, and it's it. This is not going to be, you know, it's not the worst case. Um, so I've got the cooked stuff over here. I've got the uncooked stuff over here. I'm going to take a bite of each. The cooked is actually going to be a little bit harder to eat because it crumbles a little bit. But it's not bad. It has kind of a, you know, maybe even you'd say a bacony taste. Um. It tastes like meat. Doesn't taste near as bad as it smelled. It doesn't smell bad, but kind of have a dog food smell coming out of the out of the container. So the cook's not bad, and I can see you mixing it with a lot of stuff. The uncooked mm, doesn't smell horrible. It definitely holds together better because it, the fat has, is holding together, whereas the fat kind of liquefies a little more when you cook it. And that's not bad. You know, that's definitely not, yeah, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. So, I do like it a little warmer. Um, I will finish this off and then figure out what to do with the rest of it. I'll make it into something. Mix it with some pasta more than likely. So yeah, I would say you do. You could do far worse than having to rely on this in an emergency situation. When you're looking at the can, it may not seem that appealing. I don't think I've ever had this before. Um, I have had Spam. And uh, when I was a kid, we would have uh, my Vienna sausages, something, you know, meat like that. I've never been a huge fan of any of that, which is probably why I was thinking negatively of this. But it's not bad. And it's held up well. This is uh, best used by 2011. So it's probably coming up on easily over, I would suspect, over 10 years old down, sitting down in the food supplies. And it's held up well. I think it would probably go another, another good period of time. And... I'll have another video that talks about specifically why I chose this, and there's two other food items that are on my list that I specifically targeted for their longevity, and we'll talk a little bit about that, and maybe you can think I'm crazy and insane, but uh, yeah, we'll have that conversation another day. But as always, hey, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you found this interesting, um, you know, maybe helpful if you're look, building up your own food supplies. If you have any comments, questions, put them down in the comments below. Otherwise, take care. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching uh, and, and see you next time.